Hi, it's Kena. Welcome back to my closet. Uh, this video is going to be for my inventories. So I just, I did an intro and outro for my base products and to introduce you guys to the idea that I am doing my inventories uh, going into my no buy for the winter season. Uh, I will be posting my rules on the no buy. So look for that if it's not up already. So I just wanted to let you know that we're getting into the fun part now and uh, we're going to be talking about highlighters, blushes, bronzers, eyeshadows, all the fun colorful stuff now. So yeah, let's get into counting all the things and uh, we'll see you at the end of it. This is my face palette collection and I've got contour palettes, just like full on mixed face palettes, highlighter palettes are kind of over here. So let's get started um, digging into these. First, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this guy right here. This is just a magnetic palette that I use for my loose face powder type things, powder products. So this is a blush from Ofra. It's Rendezvous. Uh, this is Sin from Urban Decay Highlighter. Uh, this highlighter is from IBY Beauty. It's bubbly. And I I'm really disappointed in this packaging. It's really beautiful, but I don't use it that often and it's ripping. So it's cheap and I'm super disappointed with this. But those are the only ones that I have that are loose. Let me just grab this one real quick. This is the Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette. Uh, the packaging looks like this. It's stunning. I'm not going to lie. This is a lot of the reason that I had to have this thing. <laughs> oh my god, it smells delicious. But anyway, these are the powders. So these two over here are kind of shimmery and the rest of them are matte. Uh, this one's like a more pinky base and this one's a little more like neutral or yeah, it's pretty neutral. These are a little bit on the warm side for me. So I generally use this as like bronzer and then like matte highlighting powders, uh, face powders. Sometimes, you know, I can set my makeup with them. They're, they're fine. I do enjoy this palette though, more than I thought that I would. So I'm keeping it. It's also beautiful. So there's that. Okay. I'm just going to show you the two of these. This is the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Contour Book Volume 1 and 2. So let me show you those. Let me just show you they have this like mirror inside and it's kind of this book detailing uh it's got this bound side with the name on it it's really cute here they are we've got the lighter side and the deeper side so you can use this one for like a deeper skin tone or you can use it just to do fun you know kind of special effects kind of stuff or they just they work for everything they work for every day and they work for like editorial or special effects type looks um, they also are very good as eyeshadows because these powders can be used anywhere on the face and i did do a throwing shade with this one and it was awesome so anyway those are my favorite contour books this one is my everyday obviously <laughs> Obviously you see these little dips here for your fingers, but these pans come out and you can buy the replacements separately. So that is a definite bonus. Okay, this right here is the Sephora Contour Blush Palette. It's in Spice Market, so I'll show you that. So here is Spice Market from the Sephora. These colors are gorgeous. I love to use this. I contour with it. I blush with it. There's this highlighter here. These are so beautiful. So yeah, I definitely would recommend this one in particular. I had my eye on it forever and I finally just, I had to buy it. It's so, so pretty and I am not sorry. No regrets. Gorgeous. I'm going to pick up this one next because it kind of has some similarities with the other one. But uh, yeah, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush kit. It's the gradient blush kit. So it's the deeper tones. And that is what it looks like. It's beautiful. I use these to contour with or to blush with 
I pull this palette out anytime I want something a little grungy. Uh, this is my favorite fall cheek palette. I love this palette and I wish that it was permanent. I cannot find it. So um, I wish this palette was permanent, but I, I love it so, so much. So I'm glad that I have it. Now this stuff over here, the NARS here, here, and here, these are from the holiday collection this year. And it's like a 1970s punk rock theme and I had to have it all. So I don't have it all, but I have a lot of this collection. But let me show it to you. The packaging is stunning. Like, it's just me. <laughs> I had to have this. It's gorgeous and the powders are amazing and I'm sorry that it sold out you guys. I wish you could have got your hands on it. I love this. Anyway that is what it looks like. It's really beautiful. I do love these shades. I tend to use these a lot. Are we seeing a pattern here? I love grungy face products. I just I love grungy makeup looks. So I really love these these are beautiful um it has like this baked it's baked so it has like this kind of like coating that you have to get through you can probably see that here but once you do it's really really pretty so yeah i love how the packaging extends to the embossment in here that's just such a great extra special touch i'm noticing a theme here so i have one two I, uh, most of those palettes are like special edition, so sorry about that. Some of them you can still get. <laughs> okay, let's work our way through the combination type stuff here. So I'll start here with my limited edition <laughs> Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basquiat Gallery Blush Palette. So this was the Basquiat collab. And this is his art, and this is like a canvas that they've used. Oh, they all have these little hooks in the back, like little uh, places for you to hook it, to put it on a nail or something in the wall, to hang it as art. I don't do that, but I mean, you could. It's beautiful. Oh, it has the little crown closure here. So it has a lovely mirror with the crown on it but it also folds all the way back and the inside packaging is also his artwork and beautiful. I do love these. I don't use them as often, but I do enjoy them. This guy is really warm. So if I'm going for a look that specifically requires that, I will use it. The other ones though, I will use quite often. I think they're beautiful. Uh, this highlighter is stunning. So yes. I will show you that here but yeah it's really really nice I love this palette this is the orgasm infatuation palette so let me open her up this is what it looks like it's the pink version of the other one and it's beautiful again love it if you look on the inside here you may recognize these guys because this is the Laguna bronzer the Inf orgasm uh, blush and this is the Orgasm Infatuation Highlighter. That one I believe is a new to the collection, but they put it in here. I'm not sure if this is the first time, but it's really pretty. These are classics. You can still get them even if you can't get this palette. I don't know if you still can or not. They might still have some, but the Hot Trist palette is gone. But anyway, these are classics and this one's new. I'm not sure about this one. I think you can get it in other formats but I know you can get these. So there's that one. I really like it. Uh, I would say that the orgasm blush that everybody loves, I do like it, but for me, it kind of ends up being more of a blush topper, which is fine. It's gorgeous. So I do love that. We'll move on to this guy. This is the Coastal Scents Blush and Bronzer Mini Palette. This is what it looks like. So this is like a shimmery blush that's a matte this is a matte powder like a highlighting powder 
and this is a shimmery bronze and a matte bronze. I don't reach for this, so this might find its way into a declutter at some point this year. So keep a lookout for that, but um, I'm going to try to play with it some more and see what I think about it. It's just, I've had it forever. It came in a boxy charm a couple years ago, and I'm just, I don't know. We'll see. I might declutter this, but um, it's not bad. I like it, I think. It's been so long I've forgotten, so I'm going to get into this and see what I think about it at a later date. I will let you know. Okay. Yeah. This is a face palette. I think this one is, yeah, it's from Pure. It's called Dreamer. It's a bronze and brighten palette. That's what it looks like on the inside. Uh, but let me tell you, these are so pigmented. I mean, just let me, let me just uh, stick my pinky in that one real lightly and swatch it for you. It's insane. Okay, so you got to be so careful with these and I really don't know how I feel about that. So I need to play with this some more and decide what I think of it. This is another one that um, is kind of a maybe. So I don't know. I need to play with this and I will let you know what I think of it. But it's definitely pigmented and they feel really nice. Like they're, they're the buttery, smooth kind of texture. So they're lovely. I, I don't know how much use I'll get out of this because it brightens me a little the pigmentation but we'll see. This is the Tarte Blush Bliss palette. This is from last year's holiday collection. Here is the packaging. It's beautiful. I really love this. So that's what that looks like and look at give you a close-up. Stunning. Okay this is what it looks like on the inside. This one right here is kind of shimmery. That one is called Graceful. Uh, it's lovely. It's it's not like glittery or anything. It's really nice. Uh, this is genuine, breathtaking, and over here is lovable. So these are really nice. Um, again, I haven't used it enough so uh, to kind of compare it to other blushes that I have, but I have enjoyed it the times that I have used it. So. Uh, still kind of testing this one out. Um, it's beautiful and I have used this one in a weekly product pan so I can say I do really enjoy that so more to come on that but um, yeah it's kind of sad that I've had it for a year now <laughs> and I can't say much more than that but I do enjoy it but anyway. So what's left of my collection here are all of the highlighter specific. Look how bright that orange is from Pure. Jeez. Let me get that before it gets comes back and bites me. Anyway, these are all of my highlighter palettes. Uh, let's see. So we'll start with this guy because it's a little bit different. This is the Alchemist Holographic Palette from Kat Von D. I think the packaging is stunning and I'm so glad it's showing up for you because it's really hard to get this to show up. Uh, with the iridescence like that on camera, but it's gorgeous. And the shadows pretty much reflect that. Kind of, it's, you can see the lettering there. It's the uh, green emerald, blue sapphire, ultraviolet amethyst, and pink opal. These are so pretty and I've seen people like declutter this and I'm like, why? <laughs> I don't know, I love it so much. Um, these colors are very unique. I'll just swatch one. You don't, you know, but you'll see like, you can see this. It's very like iridescent kind of. But anyway, let me swatch it. It's a beautiful highlighter, but here's the thing. If you put this over top of like an eyeshadow or a lipstick or something, it just totally changes everything. Anyway, I love these as inner corner highlights on an eye look. I love them as face highlighters. I love to tap these onto a lipstick in the center for like a highlight for my lips. Uh, these function in so many ways. They're amazing. I love it. Yes. What else have we got here? 
let me pull this one out because I think it's interesting since I just showed that other one. But this is Naked Cosmetics and this is their holographic palette. Um, yes, to the packaging. But it's, it's just like a little slip and then it's the same on the inside. But then when you open it up, it has these kind of fun highlighter colors. Here's a blue here. Uh, so, but you can see, I don't know if you can, but I'm, I can, that they're different. They're very different from the Kat Von D ones. It's a beautiful blue highlighter, but it doesn't have like the transformative qualities of this. So these are pretty special. These are a little more, um, finely textured too. These are a little more powdery, but they're beautiful. And I love this palette. I also got this in a boxy charm and I'm really happy with it. I do get a lot of use out of this. These colors are really fun and I love fun colors. So there's that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go into this one right here because of the other two that we just talked about. This is the Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit. It's a sleeve as well. And that's what it looks like some more really fun highlighter colors. So yeah, these are very different, but yet they're still in that same kind of, I mean, there might be some crossovers like with this green over here. I don't know. Oh, no, that's a duochrome. I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, there are some duochromes in here. Uh, this is beautiful. I have a lot of fun with this. I got this like at Marshall's and, um, for 20 bucks or something. So I was pretty happy about that. But yeah, I really, really love it. Uh, these are kind of some of my favorite things. So obviously keeping that. Let's go to this guy. It's the Laura Geller Life Glows On Illuminator Palette. Now this was uh, part of the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta. I got a really good deal on it. I think it was like $16 or something. So like half off. Uh, so I picked this up and it's, I'm really into the Laura Geller highlighters. I didn't know how much I would love her products um, until I bought this. I don't think I've ever had anything from her before. So I was really, really excited to try this, especially at such a great deal. And I know she had another palette like this, but I didn't like it. Uh, the layout bothered me. So anyway, it's just like this. I love the packaging on this. It's so cool. You can see that, but yeah, it's gorgeous. Has a cute little mirror on the inside. But here are the highlighters. Focus. There we go. They are so poppin'. Like, these are so, so pretty. Let me see. We've got Diamond Dust, French Fizz, and Opal Crush. Let's do Opal Crush just for fun. But look at that. It's so pretty. I love these. I have another one from her, which I will get to. It's in a single compact form, but these are so pretty. Diamond Dust is crazy too. I should probably just swatch that because why not? But that one we'll put right here. But yeah, it's really beautiful. They're just so glassy and smooth and just, I love these. So I'm very excited to play around with this some more. Again, fun colors. But yes, this was my first experience with the Laura Geller highlighters and I am thoroughly impressed so far. Okay, I think I'm gonna go to the NARS. It's not, it's not a crazy colored one, but it's gorgeous. This is again from their holiday collection this year. Oh, this is called the High Voltage Highlighting Palette, the packaging. This one is red, so it's obviously one of my favorite things. I love it. But this is what it looks like. Again, 1977, Fort de France and Queen. Their highlighters are so beautiful. So yeah, I'm really a fan of the NARS highlighter formula as well. So love these. And my last two my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits and these are actually brand new 
never been touched, never even been swatched, I don't think. So let me get into these. So yeah, the first one I got was this Sugar Glow Kit and it was like $24 and I had been eyeing this for ages. So I just picked it up. But yeah, you can see it's untouched and this marshmallow color is so pretty. I love that. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to put this on my face. Yeah, it's stunning. I can't wait to play with this. But again, it's brand new. So I like that you can replace the pans. That's interesting. So anyway, I don't know if I'll ever need to replace these pans because they're gigantic. They're like, look at them. Look at the size on these. So yeah. And last but not least is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Palette, Dream Glow Kit, sorry. Look how stunning this packaging is. I was not gonna buy this because I thought it might be kind of too glittery for me. But a friend of mine is just like so in love with this palette and talked about it all the time and I had to buy it. Abel, I bought the palette. So <laughs> it was also like $24, $25. So I could not say no to that because, you know, I have a problem with that. But let's see. Let's swatch one. Let's put a finger mark in these, shall we? How about... I want to swatch magic over here. Okay, that is pretty. Yeah. So yeah, I can't wait to play with this, but I have no comment at this point, except for that it looks stunning and that it comes highly recommended by uh, several people in my life. So I just, I bought it. What can I say? And there you go. There is my giant mess of palettes. Let me see. I think we should count these up. I think I want to, I don't think I want to sort these. I think they're going to stay as just face palettes. One category, it's just too hard to break them up the way that the pans are inside. Uh, it's so random on some of them. So they're just going to be face palettes. We're going to have one number for these. So well, let me count them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there you have it guys, 19 face palettes. I have a lot more face palettes than I thought that I did. So I should probably not be buying any more face palettes for a while. Anyway, these are all my face palettes. I'm gonna say that there's really only there's really only two in here that I don't absolutely love and I will play with those and make a decision. I might declutter two of them. I, I might not. We'll see. But I, I love these. This is one of my favorite categories. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my collection of face palettes. I definitely enjoy looking at them. So <laughs> hopefully you did too. Um, if you have any questions or comments about any of them, let me know. I would be happy to kind of get into them a little more in depth in a future video. So I'll see you in a second. So yeah, that is everything for that category. Thanks for watching and look forward to the next category. If you like the videos, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, I would be happy to have you. I love talking to you guys. So do leave me comments. Uh, that's going to be everything and I will see y'all next time. Bye.